Dear students, please look out of the window. You will find certain things moving and certain things remaining stationary. Certain things move rapidly whereas others move slowly. Have you ever wondered about the reasons behind it? Right, it is due to wind. Today, we are going to deal with an important aspect of wind. We do not see wind but we do feel it. When the things around us start moving, we realize the existence of wind. Why does the air move? We shall study the basic concept of wind with the help of some experiments. Take a colored paper of A4 size, a plastic straw, glue, a drawing pin, scissor and a scale. We are going to make a paper pinwheel which we used to enjoy in our childhood. On the colored paper, mark at 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters and prepare a square of 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters. Join the lines at the center in such a way that the lines cross each other in the center. From the midpoint, put the point 2 centimeters away from the borders and cut the paper in such a way that it reaches the points marked. Apply the glue in the center and fold the corners in the center. Cut a circle made out of paper having a diameter of 1 cm and stick it in the center. Hold the plastic straw at the back of the pinwheel and pierce the pin in a way that it will hold the pinwheel. After making many pinwheels, let us study the formation of winds and the unequal flow of the wind. Hold the pinwheel high and observe. There are some pinwheels which are moving fast and some of which are moving slowly. And there are some which do not move at all. Why so? There is air everywhere but some of the pinwheels are not moving as the air is not flowing. But observe the pinwheels which are moving. There is certainly flow of air or wind. The pinwheels near the window move at a faster rate as there is wind which causes the movement. Also observe the stationary pinwheels away from the window. Though there is air present but the flow of it is lacking. Let us understand the concept by taking another example. We all travel by train and also fight for the window seat. Why? As there is a forceful wind which cools us. When we sit away from the window, we feel the heat as the air is not moving. There is no wind. The earth receives energy in the form of heat. The distribution of heat is unequal as we go from equator to north pole and south pole thereby creating temperature zones. We have already learnt it in our previous year. Air pressure zones are created due to temperature zones. The unequal distribution of temperature affects the air pressure, thereby creating high and low pressure zones between equator and both the poles at horizon level. We have already learnt it in the lesson titled Air Pressure. Students. Observe this diagram in which high and low pressure zones are seen. At which latitude these air zones are seen? Right. We observe that at equator the pressure is low whereas in both the hemispheres that is north and south at 30 degree the pressure is high. When we cross 60 degree the pressures are low in both the hemispheres. At 0 degree, we find equator and at 30 degree, temperate zones in both the hemispheres. At 60 degree is the subpolar regions and at poles, polar regions are seen. Due to high temperature at equator, low pressure zone is seen. At subpolar regions, the temperature is high. At polar region, the temperature is low and high pressure zones are created. While studying the figure 
one finds the red arrows in straight lines but the blue arrows turning into different directions the red arrows indicate the basic direction of winds and the blue ones indicate the changed direction of winds what do these arrows indicate the direction of these arrows exhibit the direction in which the wind are flowing or moving we have learned that the winds flow from high pressure to low pressure and that's how the winds are created we are going to learn the reasons for the change in direction of the winds the difference in air pressure affects the speed of the wind the lesser the air pressure slower is the velocity of the wind on the other hand greater is the difference in air pressure wind flows with greater speed the speed of the wind is measured by kilometers per hour or knots as regards of the earth rotation of the earth affects the direction of flow of the winds the movement or turning of earth around her from west to east is the rotation of earth you are aware that the winds in the northern hemisphere turn to right from their original direction in the southern hemisphere the winds turn to left from its original direction this change in the direction of winds is due to the rotation of earth now let us do an experiment to demonstrate the change in the direction of winds in both hemispheres materials required globe of an earth white paper pencil cello tape etc take a globe of earth and stick white paper on it draw an equator on it also draw latitude joining the north and south pole we understand that earth moves around herself from west to east direction try moving the globe in such a direction the students will learn about the change in the direction of winds in northern and southern hemispheres in northern hemisphere they turn to right from their original direction and in the southern hemisphere the direction changes to left from their original direction draw latitude on either side of equator at 30 degrees when the latitude which is drawn is taken as the direction of wind then the pencil held in the northern hemisphere turns to right direction when the globe is rotated from west to east direction this is the result of rotation of earth around herself similarly the same experiment is performed in southern hemisphere it changes to left instead of going straight this explains the change in the direction of winds after the self rotation summary the difference in the air pressure affects the speed of the wind the wind flows at a slower speed when there is less difference on the other hand the wind increases its speed whenever the difference in the air pressure is more the rotation of earth affects the direction of winds in northern hemisphere it turns to the right of its original direction and in southern hemisphere it changes to left exercise all the students are directed to fly the kites also observe the importance of wind and the difficulties encountered while flying the kites perform the same experiment on the earth globe at your place and study the change in the direction of winds